Good morning guys, it is bright and early on a Monday as you would have just seen on the phone. So what I figured I'd do today is because I haven't actually got any content uh, recorded in advance to edit to create uh, as a video today that I'll just film and record my uh, cooking process for my current breakfast on my meal plan. So this is a meal that I came up with and designed with a little bit of inspiration from a friend of mine, Callum, who's down in Melbourne. What I wanted to do is just basically take you through the step-by-step -step process of how I prepare it and cook it. It's a little bit filling, so if you're somebody who doesn't have an appetite in the morning, it is hard to get down. Me personally, I don't generally have an appetite in the morning, but I am trying to uh, force feed myself a little bit just so I can get better quality meals like this into my diet throughout the day. Um, but one thing I do do is obviously my religious morning cardio, and that does help kind of get the appetite going a little bit most mornings. Sometimes it still doesn't work. This morning, I'm not really hungry, but I'm still gonna force myself to eat it because I know it's a good meal and I know I need the nutrients after pretty much fasting for about 80 hours last night. So did my morning cardio, 30 minutes on a relatively high, moderate intensity of about 120, 130 beats per minute. And now I'm gonna go cook my breakfast and I will take you through the step-by-step -step process. So follow through. So this is just 125 grams of frozen spinach. And I put this in the microwave for about three minutes. First and foremost, obviously you need to spray the pan with some non-stick spray or some oil or whatever. Pro tip, probably don't have your burner on when you do this. I've got a few firefighter family friends who have told me of some horror stories of people spraying it while the burner was on and then it lighting the actual spray going up into the bottle and exploding in their hands. So probably don't do it or just go like this, spray away like that, just to avoid getting the Darwin Award. Um, for those of you who don't know what the Darwin Award is, it's pretty much the moron idiot award. Obviously, being in Australia, we have access to kangaroo. You can get it in select locations in America. I am aware of that, but it is extremely difficult to find because it's obviously a specialty product over there. So if you don't have access to kangaroo, then any other kind of lean game meat will work, whether it's venison or even something like bison. Uh, to my understanding, bison's quite lean. I personally haven't had bison because I don't sell that in Australia. Yeah, basically let that cook away let that kind of stew. I keep the lid on and that just helps kind of cook it so it stays nice and juicy and it doesn't dry out too much. So what I want here is 250 grams. So I'm going to just use my hand because I'm a filthy animal. But uh, yeah, 246. Okay, so you got the uh, two eggs. Crack these and put them. And would you look at that, just my luck. The one time I decide to record and show you how I cook my breakfast, I fuck the eggs up. They usually look a lot more aesthetically appealing than this. I can assure you that. So the condiments of choice are a reduced sugar, which is virtually calorie free, barbecue sauce, a tablespoon or 30 grams of the tomato relish. I'll serve that up with a little bit of diet right salt as well, which is here, as well as everything bagel seasoning. So that is the dynamic, I was gonna say trio, but there's four, the dynamic collection of condiments. And that there is the finished product, the final product or the final outcome of the whole meal. It's really tasty. It looks a little bit, I suppose, unappealing, but I can assure you it tastes fantastic. So I've obviously just cut up the egg a little bit in there. So the yolk was runny and I deliberately do that so it acts as an additional sauce. At the minute, it is currently about quarter to uh, eight. Obviously recording it makes the whole process, my whole morning breakfast process take two, three times as long, but I wanted to show you guys what it is. 
Again, about 70 grams of protein in a breakfast, which is pretty decent. It's looking at about seven, 800 calories. So you're getting a lot of potassium, getting a lot of phosphorus, you're getting a lot of zinc, iron, choline, that sort of stuff. So you're getting a lot of micronutrition in this meal. A lot of bang, it's very, very cost effective and affordable. Kangaroo is cheaper than beef for people in Australia. If you're not in Australia and you can't get hold of kangaroo for a reasonable price, substitute it with venison or something like that. I'm gonna basically down as quickly as possible, have my vitamins, which are obviously my, um, my two hemp seed oil uh, tablets, which is two grams of hemp seed oil for my central fatty acids, grape seed extract, cranberry seed extract for kidneys and liver health. I also got a liver health complex in here as well. I've got a B vitamin complex. I've got some ashwagandha and I've got a digestive enzyme as well. And then also half of my daily metformin dosage, which is prescribed to me by my doctor, of course. I'm gonna have this and then get my ass to the windscreen repair place because I've got a massive crack in my windshield. Uh, happened on the road, there was this truck in front of me and it flicked up a rock and it's probably a crack about yay big. That'll be getting replaced today. I've got to get there at 10 a.m. Uh, so I'm gonna down this and uh, much time. I'll watch some walker. Taking all of your vitamins at once equals efficiency. Yeah. A little something I've been working on for the last couple of hours. Just a uh, ebook, basically a, a guide on how to flexible diet just for my clients and anybody who wants to buy it on the website. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for the last few hours. Obviously I started it when I was at the coffee shop waiting for my windscreen to get replaced on my car, but since I drove home, I've been doing a little bit more on it as well. So I'll probably spend another 20 minutes on that. Uh, I'm hoping to have the ebook done by the, the end of the night. Uh, if all things going to plan, but that will depend on how many more emails come in this afternoon and uh, how long my training session goes because I'm about to go train. I'll try to record that for you too and throw that in this vlog. Obviously, I usually have this post workout, but due to the close proximity of my pre workout meal to my actual training session, I decided to swap them around again today because um, if I ate chicken and rice half an hour before I train, I'm probably going to feel pretty shit. So, yeah, that I'm going to watch a little bit more uh, Walker on stand and uh, get going to the gym.